So what I want to show you here is how you can use a function to use two numbers and return a value. So what I'm going to have is I've got my main game score, but what I'm going to have is a difficulty score as well. So if I add a new variable, and I'm going to use a number, and this is going to be called the difficulty. Uh, also, I'm going to set the difficulty to 5. Okay, so I'm going to go on difficulty I'm going to say it's equal to 5. So at the moment my difficulty is equal to 5. Now the next thing I'm going to do is create my function so that I can use that. So what I can do is add a new action, go, give it a name, difficulty or score difficult. I want two input parameters and one output. The output is the one I'm going to return. So if I I haven't done anything yet, but I'm going to go to the main to the loop. So every time it overlaps I want it to do this. So what I can do is I've already got the scoreboard. So what I can do is do data scoreboard and I can set the text All right. but in that set text what I can do is use that code so score difficult and what I can put in here is first of all I want my initial score All right. data is the main game score and this value is what it's going to be multiplied by. So main game score, um, I've got my difficulty of 5, then I need to make sure I set it back to text. So I've got the difficulty and the score. Now if I go back to here, I've got my difficulty and my score. So what I'm going to say is R is equal to P times P2. Well, what I could do first is remove that and add one to P first because it's obviously zero. So I've got my main score and let me double check that. Sorry, I've got my difficulty, sorry, the main game score then the difficulty. So I want to add one So P equals P plus 1. I want to add 1 to the score. Now what I want to do is say R is equal to P multiplied by P2. Now what that will return now is the R value into the overlap. So watch this now. That's done 0 plus 1 and it's multiplied it by 5. So that's just a simple function that's done 0 plus 1 and added it added 5. Now if you wanted you could update the new main score as well in that function. So if I go back here I can now use that variable so data main game score equals P so that it updates automatically so that, so that otherwise it will get stuck on the 5 so let's run that so you can see it's multiplying by 5 now because I've used the global variable and updated what was originally 0 if I just used my function as it is without this line here then it would stay zero forever. So I'm updating my global variable. So that's a simple function that would work within a game and it multiplies your score and increases it by five each time. So have a play around with functions, see what works for you.